bigger than this one, Jess? No, it's a pretty hard challenge, isn't it? So, um, you know, our last two encounters, the final last year, and then obviously the, the first clash this year at Bunston did go to plan um, against Launceston. They probably had not measure the last two games. So um, we need to rectify that this week. And first bus trip for the boys, which will be good, get them together nice and early, and uh, I'm sure they'll go up and uh, play well. Do you feel you need a win over either North Lonnie or Lonnie to validate, you know, belief or anything like that to so that you're really in the mix? Or? Oh, not really. I think you need... You know, probably improvement and figure out you know what the right mix is and what you need to, to focus on throughout the year to, to get the job done in September. So, um, you know, we had a really good encounter with North Launceston, um, you know, the first first lot through and out here at Bunston we played some good footy, put in a style at late, so that, that worked. Some of the things we did that day really worked. Launceston was a bit difficult. I thought we they probably controlled the game for 90%. We, we probably had 10% in the last quarter where we got the game on our terms and were able to have some you know, put a little bit of scoreboard pressure on, unfortunately, we, we keep behinds, but, um, you know, we really struggled for, as I said, 90% of that game, so we need to go up there this weekend, we probably tinker with a couple of things that we didn't try last time and, and see what result we get. What are you rating to Lonnie's performance last week? Um, they looked a little bit flat to me, um, you know, I thought a lot of those, you know, the ability to, to win the contest and then, you know, handball it away from stoppage and, and create good inside 50 was a real highlight of their game. Um, you know, but in saying that, the, the first half was awarded on, and I thought the second half, you know, Launceston really responded. They started to win contested ball and get their game up and going, and you know, they've got a dangerous forward line, and they've got a high ability to score quickly. So, um, look, they'd be disappointed with the loss. I reckon they learned a little bit. Um, I think, you know, credit to Lauderdale, though, it looks like they're going to be a really good team for the back end of the year when they get all their players back. But, look, I think Launceston will, will bounce back this week. They're a good team. Um, so we know we're going to be up against it on their home deck. As a potentially confidence boosting win, given your lack of form, but probably more so their lack of form at the moment. I mean, I think any when you haven't won for a few weeks, any time you get to sing the song, is confidence boosting. You know, it just gives you that little reminder. And um, you know, Lindsay Gaze, uh, you know, the basketball coach always had a great saying where he said, "It's not the progress result that counts; it's the end result." And uh, you know, that's always a good one to remember. You know, as a coach, you've got to keep a really close eye on the small picture because that adds up. But if you let that distract you from the big picture, you're in the wrong business. Um, you end up chasing your tail. Now, I remember chatting to a couple of guys who played under Tim Watson at St Kilda. And they said he used to come in every week with a new game plan. You know, last week's one didn't work, so this week we'll try that and we'll try that. And like I said, you're just chasing your tail. So you've got to stay consistent with what you're doing but identify the things that just need a little bit of tweaking or the guys who need a bit of challenging. Um, and yeah, so I mean, every game is important. Um, in this comp, every win is confidence boosting because it's pretty much all good teams in this competition. So yeah, we'll go into this. We respect the Tigers. We know they, they pose a challenge and uh, you know, hopefully we put our best foot forward. I really took it up to you last time. Um, so what, what do you make of them going into this game? Well, they're a team that, you know, when when they get to take territory and apply pressure, they're really good. You know, they've got the small forwards so that they can they can apply a lot of forward pressure when they get the ball down there. Um, that last game was a funny one because, you know, we were coming off, you know, it was three games in 11 days for us and they were coming off, I think, a five-day break as well. So, you know, the, the game was perhaps played out a little differently than it might be this week. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. Our guys go into this knowing that, that this will be a real challenge. Yeah played some good footy, so I wouldn't have thought there's a confidence boosting win coming up for Glenorchy, it'll be a very competitive game, you know, yes at the end of the day we still did lose by five goals to North Lonnie, but I don't know who the last team was to kick five goals in a row on them in a ten minute period, um, you know, we cut the game down to under, under, a, under two goals coming in the last quarter and gave ourselves an opportunity to win. And then obviously their class showed through at the end. You know, she's a pretty big mountain to climb coming back from 38 points down at three quarter time. But, um, you know, yeah, we played some good footy. You know, we changed a few things structurally, position wise, that we wanted to have a look at. And, um, yeah, so it worked well. So we take a lot of confidence out of it. And, you know, the vibe around the group coming into the bye and preparing for the Norky has been unbelievable. That's probably, I reckon, the best we've seen the group come together and prepared since last November. What's the uh, difference uh, playing at Twin Ovals at the KG5? Is it a big difference from your planning point of view at all? Or? No, not so big. They're both big grounds. You know, we like to play on the big grounds, you know, to create that length, width, 
uh, move the ball fast. Obviously, it's no secret that we're pretty small and quick, up, especially up forward. And like our PK mentioned, you know, if, if we can win that territory battle and get the ball in our area and try and maintain it in there, which we did pretty well against North Launceston, we give ourselves a, an opportunity. You know, we've, you know, we've played them. This is the third time we've played them this year. Also, we had a practice game against them. We played them on Anzac Day, so I think we're both pretty familiar with how we want to go about it. So, um, and that, they've all been tight games. I think the Pracky game was 11 points. Um, the Anzac Day was under three goals. So, you know, we expect a, you know, a tight tussle, which is, which is really good and exciting. What have you made of the last couple of games from the Dees, uh, watching them from the sideline? Yeah, we're definitely improving. Um, I thought last week, uh, Clarence were really impressive in the first half, um, around the ball especially. Um, even we're missing probably maybe their two best on ballers. Um, we got a really good lesson around the footy. Um, the second half we responded and maybe Clarence dropped off a little bit. Um, but um, it was good to come in at half time and say, well, boys, you know, that's as good as you're going to get at TCL level. What are we going to do about it? Um, so we are improving. Um, and the tough thing is just as we're improving this week, it's um, sort of a one in a million. We have 28 players unavailable. Going up against the best side in the competition, we're probably going to be younger. What yeah. Are, yeah what's the, what are you trying to tell them about how to go about it on the day? Oh, we've just got no expectations. like, And that's... That's the thing you can really challenge the other team's mentality with that uh, when you're a young group and you bring energy. Um, we showed in the second half on the weekend, we brought energy and we challenged the mentality of the other team that we were playing. Um, and then just guys, when you play against good players and you're a young player, you, you can get so many lessons really quickly. Like our players will gain a lot out of playing at Aurora Stadium.